Are you a high performing parent, entrepreneur, or high achiever in pursuit of excellence? Welcome to The Nexus Podcast, a podcast custom tailored for families like ours, driven, affluent, and eager to lead extraordinary lives. From rockstar stay-at-home moms to high-producing CEOs, we choose to model success for everyone we are surrounded by. We prioritize health over sickness, embrace a vitalistic lifestyle, and seek to tap into the limitless potential that God has bestowed upon us. I'm Dr. Daniel Kimbley, your host, and on this podcast, we'll uncover the secrets to living a fulfilling and abundant life where you and your loved ones can thrive physically, mentally, and spiritually. Together, we'll forge a path to greatness and unleash your God-given capabilities. Get ready to say yes to a life of true prosperity and well-being. This is The Nexus Podcast. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. And I'm gonna do something a little differently than I normally do on the podcast because the last couple of weeks I have been um, just fired up about you know chiropractic and things I hear people say, things I hear people do. And what I wanted to do this week, because it is the new year, it's actually January 2nd, it may be a little bit later than that when you're listening to this. However, I'm gonna try to get this one out as quickly as possible in the queue because I feel like it's important for what's, uh, you know, how, basically what's coming in the new year. And 2024, I know everybody's excited. It's the second day of the new year. And congrats if you're, you know, doing your thing, you're setting up resolutions or whatever it is. And I'm actually not gonna talk about chiropractic at all in this episode, um, even though I think it is pertinent to the conversation. What I wanted to talk to you about is something that I have been thinking about, especially this morning. So I sat down and three times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, but usually about three times a week, I sit down and I do something what's called mapping. And mapping is simply where I go in and I answer a series of questions about something that I'm dealing with. And I usually do it when it's things that are like frustrating or upsetting to me, sometimes it's gratitude. And today, I really just felt myself in this mindset of like, can I pull off what I want to pull off this year? And like, why couldn't I pull it off? And what's going to hold me back from it? So I'm actually thinking all these thoughts as I'm working out this morning at 5 a.m. And as I'm like working out and I'm doing my thing, I realized like, oh my gosh, you have this huge, like huge thing of fear inside of you for like no reason. And so what I wanted to do is I sat down to do this map and there's a series of questions that I answered that my coach created. And I start answering the questions and I'm going through them and this is all for me, like nobody else sees this, is I got to this place where I realized that like, hey, the only way to accomplish what you want to accomplish in your life, whatever it is, and that's going to be different for every single person, is to eliminate fear from your life. And I was always taught, there's somebody, a guy named Tony Blower, who I think is amazing, but he always talked about false evidence appearing real. So fear, F-E-A-R is false evidence appearing real. And when I think about that, I just think about how powerful it is. And one of the things I did while we were on break this past week is I've been watching this, uh, the final dance or the last dance, I think it's called, about Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls. And one of the things like Michael Jordan, I've heard him say multiple times, and I've heard other people say it too, is this idea of like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Or this idea that, you know, you never think about missing a shot. And so I kind of caught myself in this thought process of thinking about like, well, this is what I want to accomplish this year. This is what I want to accomplish this quarter. This is what I want to accomplish this week. And I had all this fear like wrestling up inside of me, false evidence appearing real. And there's no evidence in my life that would suggest that I can't accomplish what I want to accomplish with one, God on my side, and two, me, me being persistent and perseverant in the things that I want to accomplish regardless of what anybody else thinks. And so what I wanted to come to you with this episode is this idea that a lot of the things that we think are simply false evidence appearing real. Now the simplest example I could give you of this is something like along the lines of this. is someone who would say that there are too many professional guitar players and I wanted to be a professional guitar player but I'm gonna like hang that up and I'm just gonna put it on the back burner because it's not realistic. It may financially, like it's gonna be really, really hard to be successful as a professional guitar player and so I'm just gonna go do my nine to five job at a desk instead. The reality is, is that that is like it's just such flawed thinking because if you think about that false evidence appearing real there's all the evidence in the world if you look on spotify and you look at all the famous artists who have ever existed like 
there's a lot of people who have accomplished making lots of money by being professional guitar players. And so, and it doesn't have to be about money, right? It's about passion, it's about purpose, it's about productivity, it's about all those things. But one of the things that often people will do is like they have this false idea of evidence about what is true, what is not true, what they can create or what they can't create, or what they can do and what they can't do. And I just want to encourage you on this episode to think about your life from those that perspective of like, what if you just went all in on the things that you really wanted to do and the things that you were most passionate about? Because here's what I know. I know that God has given each of us a very unique fingerprint and not just the fingerprints on our hands, but a fingerprint to leave a mark on the world, a fingerprint of passion, a fingerprint of purpose. And I truly believe that when we lean into those things and we have strategies and tools and systems in place to get rid of that false evidence appearing real, like anything is possible. And the reality is, is like so many people I know, so many people I work with, so many people have physical pain because they get themselves stuck in a place where they feel like they're trapped and the trap is actually just a trap of the mind because anything is possible. And I like, I love, you know, I talked about the show in the beginning of Michael Jordan. It's like Michael Jordan always had this thought process of like, it's always going to work out. Like put me in the game. I want the last shot. Give me the ball because I know that I can make it happen. And I want to encourage you like the same is true for you. You are the Michael Jordan of your life. Like no one is going to come and save you, right? You are the starting lineup. You are the person who makes it happen or doesn't happen. But if we live in a place of thinking about like what the worst case scenario is going to be or why you're not good enough or why you're not worthy enough, it's like it prevents us from ever taking a first step and then we always feel stuck. And I work with so many people, like people I sit down with who get under care and they're like, hey, for the first time I'm doing this. So for the first time I'm thinking about this. Or for the first time I'm feeling this. And the reason those things happen is because when we wake up the brain, like there's an unlimited possibility for your life. And I've seen it in my life. And like, no, I'm not a millionaire by any means. However, what I know is that if I continue to live out my God-given purpose, if I continue to listen to what I'm called to do, if I continue to step up and take action, like realistically, I cannot fail. One of the like coolest things that Heather and I kind of like set our hearts on and set our minds on when we decided that we were going to move from Indiana to Georgia. We were going to sell all our stuff. We were going to quit our job so that I could go to chiropractic school to get my doctorate. So when we moved to Georgia, there was this huge shift in our lives. And we realized that like, oh my gosh, what if this doesn't work out? Like school's super expensive. What if it doesn't work out when I actually get my license and we go to open a practice? And so we decided that we're gonna move all the way across the country to one of the most expensive states in the US, one of the most expensive places in the world to live. And when we get here, we were like, dude, we just have to make this happen no matter what. Um, and so our thought process, like there were gonna be two thought processes, right? It's like the easy thought process, the simple thought process, the one that was gonna keep us stuck and keep us trapped said, let's just move back to Indiana. We already know people there. We already have family there. It'd be really, really easy to restart our lives, but just doing chiropractic instead. There was another thought process that was like, why don't we live where we are called to live, where we want to live, where we're excited and passionate to live, where we can serve a completely different population of people, where we can help people in a different way and do what ultimately what we want to do and ultimately what we feel called to do. And when we sat down and we looked at it, it's like California is a really, really scary option, but that's what we both felt like we were called to do. So then we sat down and we were like, okay, what's the worst thing? thing that could possibly happen if, and like getting rid of the false evidence, right? That's what's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Cause a lot of people would say like, it's too hard. I'm going to go bankrupt. I'm going to be homeless. Like the story just go on and on and on. And all this is about the stories that we tell ourselves. So one of the things we realize is like worst case scenario, if we lost everything, I still have a doctorate. I could go work for another doctor. We didn't lose anything. If we're, if push came to shove, we would have to move back in with my dad or Heather's mom. And like, we weren't going to be homeless. We weren't going to lose each other. We weren't going to lose our marriage. Like, yeah, we would have had no money, but money doesn't define you in the first place. So I shared this with you just to say this is that if there's something that you're sitting on the sidelines or you're thinking about doing and you don't feel like you're worthy of doing it or you're scared to do it, I can tell you this definitively. There's a, you're going to miss 100% of the shots that you do not take. And I would have you consider that failing is actually going to help you learn a skill that will push you to the next level in the first place. Because just like a parent who lets a kid struggle or lets a kid 
have something, I don't want to say bad happen to them, um, but like as parents, we're designed to allow our kids to grow. And the only way we can allow our kids to grow if we don't do stuff for them and we give them difficult circumstances. I truly believe that God is the same. Like God as the father is literally looking at us like his children and saying like, I need you to build more character. And the way that we build more character is through the struggle, through the tribulations. And then in the triumphs, that's when you realize like, oh my gosh, this, it's, it's all just false evidence appearing real. So whatever shot it is that you want to take in 2024, whatever it is for you, maybe it's starting a business, maybe it's buying a house, maybe it's having a kid, maybe it's having a tough conversation, maybe it's cutting off a relationship. Like, I don't know what the thing is for you, but this is what I do know is that when you can go all in on you, you can get rid of that false evidence appearing real. I guarantee you, you will awaken within you a new version of yourself that can accomplish anything. And I truly believe at my core, I've said this multiple times on the last few episodes of the podcast, every single one of us has the exact same potential. We have all of it within us already. Like we already have it within us to be successful, to be exactly what God wanted us to be. Think about it like this is like if each individual person was a seed of corn, like what was, we, I'll say, what was God's vision for that seed of corn? Like it wasn't to just be a seed of corn that never got planted. Like that one seed of corn can produce how many other seeds of corn and how many stalks of corn in the first place. Like it's a ton. And so like you have that same potential already within you. You just have to make certain decisions and start to change the way you think about things in your life in order to get you to a place where you will actually start to produce those fruits in the first place. You're the seed. You just got to be planted. And then when you plant it and you go and you get rid of the false evidence appearing real, I guarantee you, you will change your life. So my friends, for you, my question, I ask you one more time for 2024, what are you committed to going all in on that maybe people have told you you can't? Maybe you've told yourself that you can't. Is it a business? Is it a relationship? Is it a job? Is it whatever it is? Like go all in because I guarantee you when you realize that you can't fail because your failures will only propel you forward, you can accomplish anything. My friends, I love you and I appreciate you. Hope you got some value out of it. I will come at you again next week. Peace.